tell this testimony. Um, back in uh, July this year, I was um, headed to Quero, and then to San Antonio, and, and I was in my pickup truck, and uh, I was driving, and just as I was driving, I began to hear noise. I said, my God, it sounded like I'm having a blowout. You know, and I grabbed this wheel with two hands, and, and sure enough, I had a blowout, and I was able to control it, pull off to the side of the ditch, and uh, as I got off, I said, I better get off this road. I got way off. And I was sitting there, and I looked in the truck, and I realized I didn't have my jack. So I said, well, let me call AAA. I've been paying those premiums and then I never used it. So I said, well, I'm using this. <laughs> anyway, I called them. It was about 100 degrees. I called them, and uh, they said, well, it'd be about 40 minutes. Yeah, actually, about an hour waiting on them. But after I came, after they came, the gentleman told me, he said, you gotta move that truck back up on the shoulder so I can get it level. He jacked it up, the young man came, and in the meantime, I called my wife and told her, I said, look, I'm on the side of the road, I had a blowout, so she said, well, I don't feel right about that, that's too dangerous. And so she, she and my daughter joined hands and prayed a prayer that probably saved my life. And uh, we really prayed. She said, I feel, I don't feel good about it. We really prayed. And she saw, prayed, her and my daughter prayed, and I prayed. And uh, they hung up about that time. The tow truck driver came, and he started working on my tire and got it all fixed up. And just before he, he was putting up his tools, and I was standing, had been standing right there. It was on the driver's side, so I was standing right in front of the truck. He was on the side. And he put up his tools. He had his truck behind mine at an angle like this. And his lights was flashing. And, uh, but all of a sudden, I heard a voice said, move. Walk out in that ditch. And I started walking out toward that ditch. And when I did, just I got far enough out there. And all of a sudden, I heard a crack. Bam! I turned around, I looked, this truck, it was, it was an 18-wheeler, but it didn't have the bed. All it had, didn't have the bed, it was just a cab. It was just a tractor, and man, that thing hit the tow truck and my truck. And the thing went sideways after it hit my truck. It went to the left and went across the interstate into the grass, and boom! Blew up diesel, was blowing everywhere. Scared the living. I said, oh, God, help me. Help me, Jesus. I was shook up. I didn't know what. But I'm telling you something, brother, sister. I heard a voice. Hallelujah. They said, move! I'm, gonna I'm glad that I, oh, glory to God, that I heard that voice said, move, walk out in that ditch. And as soon as I got out there in the middle of that ditch, crash, I turned around and said, oh, my God. Walked back to the truck, went looking around to check my truck. And lo and behold, I looked down and saw a naked man laying on the ground. I said, well, where did this naked man come from? But then I realized it was a tow truck ride. That truck had hit him, tore all his clothes off. They found his clothes and shoes down the road. I, I said, Lord, I checked him. I didn't get no life. I knew he was dead. White as a sheep. He was a white man, but he was white as a sheep. Body just tore all the pieces. Muscles hanging out, chest open, everything. And I said, Lord, so I got a hold of myself, called 911. About that time, a nurse tapped me on the shoulder. She said, I got 911 on the phone. You just, you talk to him, tell him where we're at. I got to work on him. I'm a nurse. But my brothers and sisters, the man died right there on the road. Instantly, she said he was killed instantly. Yeah. But what if I had to move in God? If the Spirit of the Lord had told me to move. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. I tell you something, it pays to serve God. It pays to live for God. It pays to carry this word. Hallelujah. And God's told me later, he says, I left you here for a purpose and a reason. I wasn't through. And I want you to know it has stirred my life. It has caused me to seek God. It has caused me to run. It caused me to do everything I can to declare this gospel. 
Hallelujah. To do all that God's called. To stand and support this word. To hold up the hands of the man of God. Hallelujah. God has blessed us and helped us to do more than we ever have. Because he put a drive and determination in my life. And I know that God left me see, for a purpose and a reason. Because I could have been in the grave. But you know, God worked that miracle. The other miracle, if my wife had been there, she'd have been in that truck with the air conditioning running. But thank God, she didn't even go with me that day. My daughter was moving, she helped my daughter. But God knew. God knows our lives. God has ways to keep us in these troubled times. And I just thank God for what he did for me and my life. God bless you.